I mean, snatched wigs is different than getting your wig snatched. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Hey, poach up, introduce yourself. Okay, anyway, watch too much TV. I was a little bit emotional in Maintenance Monday. You know what? Let's talk about snatched edges. Let's talk about edges growing, okay? You know, we never le leave our pick. Natural girls, we never leave our pick. Hi, Beauty and Curls, welcome back. It is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming. You are at the right place at the right time. Yes, yes, yes. And if you have not hit the subscribe button, go ahead and hit it. It's gonna let you know that I would love to have you here as a part of the family and the notification bell right next to the subscribe button is gonna let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it's never gonna let you miss an upload because it's gonna notify you yes ma'am if you're an og you know how we roll thanks so much for hanging out with me and coming back over and over again and if you are a new subscriber welcome to the family wakanda forever okay but let's get straight into this video today's video i wanted to talk about one of the things that callie i want to say her name is callie she is a subscriber and she had a great, great, she had a great comment, first of all, but she was talking about how she couldn't, um, she, her edges wasn't growing. And I was like, you know what? Let's talk about snatched edges. Let's talk about edges growing. So in today's video, I wanted to give you three easy tips of things that you can do or not to do to your hair to, you know, so the wigs don't look like they snatch. I mean, snatched wigs is different than getting your wig snatched you know what i'm saying <laughs> yes we don't want the latter okay we don't we want to keep our edges we want to look slayed all day you don't want your edges snatched you want the wig snatched okay so in today's video we are going to show you what you should or should not do to your hair in order to keep your edges okay so without further ado let's go okay so the first thing we are going to talk about is tension with brushes now i particularly don't like using a brush as much and it's because i will use a brush every now and then but i try not to use it every day or very frequently i like to use it if i'm going to bun but there is a way that you can make a slick bun without using the brush as often and i actually wanted to show you a demo i know my hair is out but for the remaining of this video it is going to be in a bun and tied so i'm going to to take some gel and I'm going to put it around the perimeter of my hair you've probably seen this on YouTube but you want to get a gel that has a strong hold this hold is number 10 which is the highest hold of an eco styler gel this is the eco style coconut now you can use other maximum they do have the olive oil I think that is a strong the argan oil they do have some strong and then they have some that are not as strong. You want to use a strong hold gel. It does not have to be Eco Styler. I just know, I like the fact that they actually have a number range to let you know, you know, what the strength hold, the strength of the gel is. So basically what I'm doing is taking my hand and I'm going across my edges. I am not even, um, this is not putting tension on the edges itself, it's putting tension on the ponytail of where I'm gathering it but basically what I'm going to do I'm not even watching y'all but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna do a messy bun but I still want it to be kind of sleek so a lot of times I will do this I can always fix this part now let me get a mirror I'm trying to show y'all yes I want this to be a little bit bigger than what it is Excuse me if y'all hear like outside the bells and stuff because I'm serious. It is blowing. Seriously. Okay, so this is not that bad. Okay. Um, but I do want, especially because I have hair back here that wants to like come out and be unruly and be like ignorant. That's what we use this. Don't be ignorant. It just wants to be disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tie up my hair and I'm going to show you what I did. Now, this you know taking gel and just slicking it with your fingers that may work but if i want like super sleek 
I'm gonna take this silk scarf and you don't want something that's like really I try to avoid cotton but this is a silk scarf and I'm going to just lay it directly on the edges and I'm going to use this as a tension like I'm gonna pull it taut and I am going to leave this on until the gel dries. That is the easiest way not to use a brush. Honestly, because those hairs are so fine, we have to be careful and be very, very delicate in the area we want to use as much, you know, handling, like not so much manipulation with a brush. And just think brush, that boar brush is just like putting too, sometimes it just puts too much tension on you know, and especially since I have fine thin hair, it's gonna put too much tension. If I need to go out and my hair, my sleek bun is for later and I st it still has not dried, definitely put on one that's just stylish and is the same color as what you have on. Unfortunately, you know, I have on a red scarf. I should have wore a red like headband or something. You can definitely just keep it on those edges and it will, you know, just l allow it to dry, but we're gonna keep it like this for the remaining of the video. Since we're gonna keep it like that, I gotta match y'all. So let's take off this scarf and let's put on another one. Y'all probably saw this in another video. Or we'll see it in another video. Just ignore it, okay? So, that's so much better. I don't know if I'm feeling these tendrils though, but they don't wanna leave. Okay, so the next tip is to avoid <sighs> hairstyles. I know this is gonna be a problem for some people, especially if you are constantly in braids, if you are constantly in, but it's not necessarily the hairstyle, it is the tension that a lot of the hairstyles cause. So like in terms of wigs, in terms of weaves, if you're, you know, if you're braised, just make sure that they are not so tight that on your edges is just bringing too much tension. And a lot of times for having those in for a long period of time and you're pulling them up and you're pulling them back, it is putting tension on those edges. It's putting tension on your hair. So sometimes you will see the hairline recede because of that. So we definitely don't want that. So just be careful of hairstyles that cause too much tension on your edges because we we want to slay the, the edges want that we want some baby hairs okay we want baby hairs and sometimes you know some styles just won't let us be great okay so i have given you two tips of things of not to do but you're like melissa you know don't go for that don't don't come at me and tell me certain things that don't work and don't come with the solution pray tell number three is a do Definitely invest in products or in things that will allow your hair or your edges to grow. Now, this is a tried and true one for me. I don't know if you have one, but I can also, we're gonna talk about ingredients and we're gonna talk about products. This is the Nioxin Hair Booster. This is a tried and true favorite of mine. I do have a couple of videos in terms of hair growth. I will link it over here. I think I have a top five uh, products in hair growth, but this is amazing. I really do like it. You also wanna make sure that you are using products that have rosemary in it that's going to help strengthen the hair even your edges make sure you're applying that to the edges and then also oils there are some great great oils that have really great length retention or keeping or holding on to that hair you want to make sure that like some of your products may have castor oil in it or jamaican black castor oil which is a great one sometimes you just want to give yourself scalp massages it's going to help stimulate the blood in the scalp that's going to help grow those edges back it is not too late hopefully you haven't done like permanent damage to the hair follicle but definitely it's something like this or even using ingredients and just like letting your hair breathe are some great tips to go by and order for your hair to grow now my hair is almost dry but I also want to let you know you can also use a blow dryer if you don't have time just to dry down the gel and yeah so I'm gonna take this down but this, like I said, is a great way to sleek your edges down. And it may not be perfect, but it's going to be polished. If you want it extra sleek, you can definitely, you know, use your brush or everything. But I'm just saying, try not to make it a habit. So I hope you guys enjoyed these three tips on do's and don'ts of how to keep your edges. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you for you in the next video. Bye, loveys.